called the show business night of the year. Indeed, for some, it's the night of a lifetime, the 1984 Royal Variety Performance. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, will be arriving shortly. With her, we're expecting the Prince and Princess of Wales and also Lady Sarah Armstrong Jones. And already, you can sense a tremendous feeling of excitement and anticipation building up. Of course, it's a sellout. The Royal Variety always is, even at up to £150 a ticket. But you see, that's money gladly given, because this is not only a royal occasion, it's also a charity occasion. All the artists give their services free, and the proceeds will go, as usual, to the Entertainment Artists' Benevolent Fund. Much of it to be used for the running of their residential home for retired variety artists, called Brinsworth House in Twickenham. The Victoria Palace is a splendid old theatre, it's full of warmth and atmosphere, but you've got to go back nearly 30 years to 1955 for the last time it played host to the Royal Variety. But it's perhaps particularly appropriate for this year's show. You may remember that in years gone by, the Victoria Palace used to be called the Queen Mother's Local because it was to this theatre that she came on several occasions to see the Crazy Gang in action. And that really sets the theme for this evening's show by Louis Benjamin. He's called it Comedy Tonight. Indeed, in his own words, he says, we hope the show will capture the flavor of the crazy gang type of humor. Something old, something new, something borrowed, but not too blue. So we've been told to expect an evening full of surprises that may, he says, involve the royal box from time to time. A little late, perhaps, to be bringing in the greenery. So the stage is set. The performers are ready, and now we're just waiting for the real stars of our show. Outside, the crowds have been gathering for a couple of hours now, and it's a, a fairly chilly London night, but I think this is it. This is their moment. The Royal Party being greeted by Lord Delphont, the man who presented this show for 20 years from 1958 to 1978. And he is the life president of the Entertainment Artist Benevolent Fund, of course. The Queen Mother, radiant as ever in that superb turquoise gown. And that's John Avery. He is the, the general manager of the Stolmos Theatres. Moving on now to Louis Benjamin, being presented to Her Majesty. He took over the presentation of these shows from Lord Delphont in 1979. So this will be his sixth Royal Variety in succession. That's Ronnie Swift there, the Vice President of the Entertainment Artist Benevolent Fund, and the General Secretary, Red Swinson. Now, much of the money raised tonight is going to go to Brinsworth House, where 38 retired artists live. And the Queen Mother receives a bouquet now from Mrs. Joan Yonker from Merseyside, who is the winner of this year's Brinsworth Award. And that's given each year for services to the less fortunate. Prince Charles having a word with Louis Benjamin. The Princess, on the other hand, receives her bouquet from Teddy St. Dennis, and she is a resident of Brinsworth House. And it's going to be an evening of many, many memories for Teddy, because back in 1937, she appeared in this theater as a leading lady in Me and My Gal. That's a nice touch. That's uh, a girl called Wai Ming Tang presenting a bouquet to Lady Sarah Armstrong Jones. She was nominated by the NSPCC in this their centenary year because she raised something like a thousand pounds for the society entirely by her own efforts. So up the stairs towards the royal box. <laughs> the first surprise of the evening for the Queen Mother, Jimmy Savile Dorman. <laughs> Suitably gold braided, of course. Certainly makes a change from the usual shorts and sweatshirt we see him in so often. <laughs> of course, he and the royal family have met many, many times. No tickets. Under the circumstances, yes. No tickets, he was saying, if you didn't catch that. Big smile there for Prince Charles. And as he and Lady Sarah are ushered away, that really completes the opening formalities. The overture, as you can hear, is playing in the background, so let us join the audience in the theatre.
off your seat. Sit down. You. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Madam. <laughs> madam. May I may I see your ticket, please? My ticket. I'm, my face is my ticket. <laughs> the dickens are you? Look, I'm afraid, I'm afraid there's been some mistake. Well, if there's been a mistake, a lot of people have made it tonight. That's what I mean. <laughs> what, and this is, this is the, the Victoria Palace Theatre, isn't it? Yes, ma'am, yes, madam, but this box is reserved for royalty. Well, I, I am royalty. I'm, a, I'm Australian royalty, aren't I, darling? <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Don't you work in a shop? <laughs> Uh, be that as it may, I I'm afraid we m we'll have to have you reseated. Well, I don't believe in cosmetic surgery, I'm afraid. <laughs> you make me sound like a sofa, doesn't he? <laughs> Who is this box reserved for if it isn't reserved for me, may I ask? Why didn't you tell me before? What? I suppose she'd do the same for me. She's very lucky. <laughs> All I can say is she's very fortunate I'm not a commoner. That's all I can say. Thank you, Amy. I will go, but I'm going to leave her a little something, a little prezzy to make her feel at home. <laughs> My liqueur chocolates <laughs> with a straw. Thank you, Amy. Bye-bye. And as the lights go down in the Victoria Palace, sit back and enjoy with us the 1984 Royal Variety Performance. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and privilege to move forward slightly in that rather <laughs> graceful manner and uh, to welcome you, to welcome you on behalf of the entire profession to this Royal Variety Performance. To thank you for your presence and patronage tonight and for your support through the years, which has meant so much to the Entertainment Artists Benevolent Fund. On behalf of us all, our heartfelt thanks. Just one or two apologies that I've been asked to read to you. A uh, message here. Regret unable to bow with you to it. That's from the editor of The Guardian. <laughs> and, uh, and apologies from the leader of the opposition, or to give him his proper title, the Bishop of Durham.
Apologies, too, from Lord Whitelaw. He's attending a wedding. A shotgun wedding, of course. <laughs> and apologies, too, from Mr. Bernard Manning. That's in case he does turn up. <laughs> and so it just remains for me to invite you to relax and uh, believe me, if everything goes as smoothly tonight as it did at the rehearsals this afternoon, you're in for a faultless performance. Everything meticulously planned so that nothing, absolutely nothing, can possibly go wrong at any stage. Who, who told you Mark Thatcher's acting as stage manager? Nothing can go wrong. Lord Lucan, fancy meeting you. Something peculiar, something for everyone at comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone at comedy tonight. Nothing with kings, nothing with crowns. Bring on the lovers, liars and clowns. No situations, few complications. Nothing pretentious or polite. Strike me tomorrow, comedy tonight. I say, who walks like that? I have no idea. I do. <laughs> Max Wall. <laughs> How very sweet. Who are the flowers for? Well, Paul, you see, we're celebrating. One of the one of the young ladies in the show is is going to have a baby. Really? Yes. Which one? I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. <laughs> Hi, ah, Jimmy. Come here, hey, Les. I have a little review. Thank you very much. Who was the first person on Earth? I don't know. I'll give you a clue. Apple. Granny Smith. Get off. <laughs> oh, you little darling. I love you and I want you desperately. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Well, what have you done? <laughs> Who are you? The Henry and Peggy Wormwood Dance Formation Team. But you're on your own. Fools. I told them to turn right at Clarence House. <laughs> Something convulsive, something repulsive, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something aesthetic, something frenetic, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Here is the late Scottish football result. 4-4-4, four, 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 East 5-5. Five, five. Bernie Winters, News at 10, Victoria. <laughs> um, why are you wearing just one glove? Well, that's because I heard the weather forecast. He said today was going to be sunny, but on the other hand, it might be cold. <laughs> Down with the Empire! Down with the Empire! Who are you? Manager of the Odeon. I say, what's the difference between a buffalo and a bison? I don't know. What is the difference? You can wash your hands in a bison. <laughs> nothing with kings, nothing with crowns. Bring on the lovers, liars and clowns. Nothing that's formal, no recitation to recite. Open up the curtain, comedy tonight. Hey, huh? I went to the doctor.
doctor. I said, I've got a right toe on my left foot and a left toe on my right foot. He said, you've got myxomatosis. <laughs> This is an uh, astonishing young man from Maryland called Anthony Gatto. It's his first visit to London, but obviously it's not going to be his last because already he's regarded at 11 years old as potentially one of the world's greatest jugglers. He'll be assisted a bit later on by his father, who is an acrobat, actually, uh, and indeed he appeared on this very stage as a member of Los Gatos.
Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What about that remarkable young man, eh? How do you follow that? I mean, they say in this business, never work with children or animals. Well, it always gives me great pleasure to work with my little friend. Will you please welcome Orville! <laughs> laughing at you. I heard them. You heard them? Yeah. Listen, when you came on and your little car, everybody went, ah. Somebody went, ha, ha. <laughs> did they? Yeah, but you see, it's very pretty. I, I did like your car. Did you like it? I liked it. I got my own oil. Your own oil? Yeah, Duckham's. <laughs> Duckham's? Yeah. Yeah. But you look very smart tonight. It's a posh do, isn't it? Oh, it's a very posh do. You can say that. Like a little crown. All the stages are wearing these now. Are you? Yeah. It's very nice. What are you going to do tonight, ladies and gentlemen? I thought I'm going to do an impersonation. An impersonation? Yeah. Who of? A birdie. A birdie? Yes. You want to do it now? Yes, please. All right, I'll do it now. Here we go. Here it goes. <coughs> Is that it? Yes. Well, what sort of a bird was that? A swallow. <laughs> a swallow? It was good, wasn't it? It was very good, yeah. And you liked that one, didn't you? I liked that one, yes. <laughs> Listen, everyone's been asking me, what sort of a bird are you? Because we haven't found out. I don't know. Well, everybody actually thinks you're a duck, don't they? I thought I was a duck, wasn't You thought you were a duck? I found out I wasn't. What happened? I sank. You sank? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What about a penguin? I don't like chocolate biscuits. Don't you? No. No. You could, have been, you could be a parrot, couldn't you? Because, I mean, parrots talk and you talk very well. I know someone that had a parrot. Do you? Yeah, and he crossed it, he crossed it with an alligator. Well, it's... I beg your pardon, he crossed a parrot? Yes. With an alligator? Yes. And what happened? Bit his head off and said, who's a pretty boy then? <laughs> Listen, what? I'm afraid... Look, I want you to go to the dressing room and have a little nap now. I don't want to go to sleep. I know you don't want to go to sleep, but I like the ladies and gentlemen to uh, meet another friend of mine. Do I have to? Yes, I'm afraid you have to. Oh, darling. Because you've been a very good boy, and before you go to sleep, you must say your prayers. I can't. Why can't you say your prayers? I'm not a bird of prey. Not a bird of prey. No. All right, then. But I have to go to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's that? Well, that's your babysitter. No, night. There you are. Wave the ride. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> little Orville there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to meet a friend of mine who's a little bit cheeky. His name is Cuddles. All right. Will you come out? All right, somebody's going to shout it. There it is, I am. <laughs> hey. What's happening? What do you mean, what's happening? Just come out here for a minute, because it's most embarrassing. I got the shelf out. Yes, if you come. Because actually, what we're going to do tonight, I thought... Uh, I got the legs stuck. Would you be quiet? I thought that we could... Uh... No, I got the legs stuck in the box, I'm done. Would you be quiet, please? <laughs> what the... Uh... I got the legs stuck! <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Listen, I got the legs stuck in the box, you're nothing, I'm tired, so I feel something, I look nice, nothing, 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 You've got your legs stuck. I know. <laughs> get it out. To get it out. Right, there we are. Thank you. Just sit on there and behave yourself. I'll get on. Right, because you... Ooh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, what's the matter? It's cold. <laughs> it is not cold. Yeah, but you're not a monkey, are you? <laughs> 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 Think about it, this is not what... <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to... What are we going to do? Yes. I thought tonight... It's something a little bit different. Can we do some magic? Magic? Yeah, let's make the duck disappear. <laughs> no. Walter, let's throw the duck in half. We will not. What will... <laughs> Walter, get the duck on! <laughs> please. On the boil. Look, look, will you be quiet, please? We tonight... Yes, something very special that we haven't done before. Yes. I'm going to hypnotise you. You what? Hypnotics. Is he allowed to say that? Yes. Well, I'll <laughs> put you... I'm going to put you to sleep. What? I put people to sleep. You know, me too. The duck's done that. Have you seen this? Oh. All you have to do... Yes. ...is look at... Uh... Keep going, son. They're laughing. Right. All you've got to do... <laughs> ...is watch my hand. Right. Now, by doing this... Yes. ...this will actually put you to sleep. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you must... Uh, 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 do you feel anything? I do. What? Sick. No, you don't. <laughs> you are going. I'm going. He is going. I'm going. Yeah. 
Have you gone? Not yet. All right. I'm going. I will count to three and be under my influence. Like that. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, don't sniff. When I count to three... When you count to three... I will have your whole voice... You will have my voice. Sniff. And personality... Personality. I will have your voice and personality. You have my voice and personality. After three... After three... One... One... Two... Two... Three... Three... Three? I say... What do you want? Ah! <laughs> Just a minute. Good. I've got your voice. Yes, I know that, and I've got your voice, haven't I? Yeah, I know, but listen, I can't go around talking like this. I feel rather stupid, don't I? I think it rather suits you, actually. <laughs> I mean, if you... Hang on. You don't sniff. Yeah. <laughs> listen, how am I going to get my voice back? Well, I don't know. Look, you want your mouth? I'll open the mouth. Right, keep, well, keep doing that. Right, all you've got to do is you keep doing that. Now, all I've got to do is count my voice like this. I've got my voice and I've got to put it back in here like this. Hello. 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 I've got mine back. Come on, do that again. Good work. <laughs> Woo! I tell you. Thank you. Tell the duck. Listen, go on. Have you done this anywhere else? I've been everywhere, man. Well, let's sing it. <laughs> And everywhere, man. We've been everywhere, man. And the boy don't care, man. We never pay our fair, man. We don't have a shit, man. We'll tell you where we've been. Bradford, Guildford, Oxford, Lillander, Bedford, Chingford, Hempel, all down to Chingford, it's under the air. We live in those Gunport, Stanford, Mayport, Thunderbolt, Wattle, Danford, Middle, Danford, Newport, Stockport, South East. Good evening. You, you may have noticed I'm the chap who gets put on when they want to set entertainment back 30 or 40 years. <laughs> and sure enough, this next item was last seen in 1954. Now, I don't know how many of you were viable in 1954, but that was the era when all that the letters GLC stood for was gaslight and coke. <laughs> and, when, and when the last of the Red Hot Mummers was Sophie Tucker, not Joan Collins. But <laughs> it, it, was, it was in that year and in this very theatre, that the most talked about item in a crazy gang show called Joker's Wild was a sketch in which the famous five dressed up as monks, you know, with the sandals and the brown habit with the string round there and the polo mint haircut. And they proceeded to perform a hilarious bell ringing number to the tune of Frere Jacques. Now, that routine was first devised and presented by a brilliant French star named Robert Derry, who was also in the West End that year at the Garrick Theatre in a review that Jack Hilton had brought over from Paris, possibly because its title, La Plume de Ma Tante, is one of the few French phrases that English people feel secure with. <laughs> Among the others, there's uh, Côte d'Azur, meaning blue blazer. <laughs> um, un demi-tasse, a semi-official Russian news agency. 
And of course, comment vous arico? How you been? <laughs> so, so now, 30 years on, here's that bell ringing sketch again, this time performed by its original creator with a company that includes Jean Pierre Cassel, Mr. Robert Derry. Jacques. Non. Frère Jacques. Yeah. Allons. Yeah. Ben, sonnez les matines. Allons. Frère Gérard. Frère Jean-Pierre. Yeah. Allons. Eh bien. Frère Michel. Yeah. Sonne... Non, ne... On ne... non, non, on ne dort pas. On sonne. Sonnez les matines. Il est 4 heures du matin. Allons.
And from that still very funny Robert Derry creation from 30 years ago to a couple of today's rising young stars. Thank you and good evening. My name's Les Dennis. My name's Dustin G. Hang on, I thought you were Russell Harty. Thank you and welcome to my show. <laughs> because it has been said, has it not, that I do say, do I not, quite a lot, do I not. But one would like to welcome one's first guest this evening, Mr. Bobby Ball. Thank you! <laughs> thank you! Ah, thank you! And once again, thank you. You shut your mouth, you, you stupid person! I'm gonna get you after! <laughs> I wonder if Biggie will get you as well! I'm really excited tonight! What the hell's all this? <laughs> Billy, it went him. He did four. Do you want five? Right. Thank you! Right. I'm really excited, right? Because tonight we've got a great lady for you. From Heidi High. <laughs> Gladys Pew. Hello, Camper. <laughs> Heidi High. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? After breakfast this morning, we have the over 80s hand gliding competition. <laughs> this will take place in the Hawaiian ballroom. Gladys, Gladys. <laughs> what is it, Peggy? Still got your tash on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it besides that, Peggy? I <laughs> think I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That new entertainment manager. What about him? He says, he says it can be a yellow coat. I'm sorry, Peggy, you definitely can't be a yellow coat. Well, I could do that. I could be a yellow coat. What could you do? Do impersonations. All right, I tell you what, if you whisper in my ear, I will tell the audience which impersonation you're going to do first. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Peggy the Chalamet with her marvellous impersonation of that wonderful film star, 